Hello, Norwich 93 CMP putting out another video. This is going to be the M1 Grand gas cylinder gauging. And what we have in front of us now are just three gas cylinders and three gauges. The smallest one is, is marked 528 thousandths. The mid grade one is 530. And the largest one is 532 thousandths. I mark them at the ends with an electro uh, pencil engraver just because of the markings are stamped in with some ink and they're very faint and you don't want to mix them up if you use them too much or if they move around too much in your uh, toolbox. One of the first things you're going to do is make sure that the inside of your gas cylinder is nice and clean in this section. I just have three gas cylinders here. They all gauge something different and I'll show you the differences. This one has a diagonal cross cut in it during World War II they made some modification work orders and the ones that were made in the field were straight across and these were made this is a later type of cut which are diagonal I'm just gonna move these out of the way so you can see what we're gonna work on now I'm actually gonna use this one here so I clean out the splines make sure they're nice and clean but most importantly is where the the piston from the the um, the operating rod is going to go. This piston here goes in this area, and what it does is it changes the depths, okay, and and the spacing that it has on the inside of the gas cylinder. That's why it's kind of important to check your gauging in your gas cylinders. So I'm going to start out with my smallest, see how far it goes. You'll see in the in the video, the larger ones really shouldn't even fit. The mid grade ones, and then the the smaller ones will gauge something different they will go past the threads mostly then there's going to be a dip just on the inside of there where there's some threading just past that there's a let's see if I can get it in there just past there this is where the the gas hole is that goes into the barrel but in that same area is a recess and then it starts the area where the piston picks up right in there So with my 528, I'm going to put it in. Now this one's a nice tight cylinder, it doesn't go in far. You got to understand that the threads go, then there's the dip, and then there's the area where the piston fits. So what I do is I just mark it with my fingers, and basically approximately I know how far she goes in. Now if I know the smallest one only goes in at a certain spot, the larger ones aren't going to fit but you can see that if I take a different one I can actually get it to drop in okay so that means it's a larger opening in there you might have a gas escape especially if you have a smaller piston and a larger hole um, very easily to see the difference between the two different gas cylinders that I have Okay. Now I want to see really how far it is. This is the 530 thousandths. I'm spinning it just to make sure if there's any anomalies. And it's not perfectly round. And she stops. So she's between these two gauges. So she's 529 thousandths of an inch. this gas cylinder we're going to try all right she goes in also but stopping a lot easier and this one I can't even get by the, the total threads so we know that the threads themselves are probably at a different different size than the other gas cylinders Okay, I just finally got it through. And it's stopping dead right at the top of where the, the piston goes. Alright, that's how you gauge a gas cylinder. 